members of national and international business community, IT experts, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning. I appreciate the efforts of uh, CXO Global Forum for organizing this summit and creating a knowledge sharing platform on disruptive uh, technologies, transformation and innovation. It gives me great pleasure to be part of Global Digital Summit 2021 and reflect upon the theme, uh, Rebooting Digital Pakistan Through Digital IT. When I say rebooting digital Pakistan through digital ID, I, I mean that we, are, we want to foster a change in digital ecosystem uh, that is anchored in digital ID. Di uh, digital Pakistan has many manifestations. For example, uh, removing the digital divide or bridging the digital divide, providing connectivity, laying out fiber optic, uh, uh, in major urban and uh, sorry suburban and rural areas uh, but I have been firm believer that breaking the status quo towards innovative and disruptive practices is an integral component of sustainable growth uh, trajectory. What distinguishes um, our efforts of cat uh, catalyzing digital change from previous regimes is connection with the citizen. You know, we want to look at digital Pakistan through the eyes of the citizen. Hence, my aim is to strengthen social contract because ID card is an instrument that uh, establishes the social contract between state and citizen. So, once again, my focus is not only developing but strengthening linkages with public and designing services with citizen-centric uh, focus in our mind. Um, I'm a firm believer, just like my friend Mariana Mazzacato, who says that the value, uh, social value, is actually uh, driven by the government. It's created by the government institution. You may see in a lot of countries, you know, even if you use Apple phone, and the Siri is not owned by Apple phone. Siri was developed by the government institution. Intra internet, intranet was in developed by the, you know, uh, government institutions. Uh, LASIK surgery, you know, LASIK technology was developed by NASA, and so on and so forth. You know, night vision go uh, devices, Googles. Uh, these, these technologies actually were uh, created and developed by the government institution, and then private sector actually scaled them up and extracted the value so, I want to see Nadra in that uh, uh, role. And hence, ladies and gentlemen, I will use my limited time here to highlight some of the efforts of Nadra as the technology arm of both the federal government and the private sector. So, we are creating a value for federal government and the, you know, local provincial governments and so that they can improve service delivery. And we are creating a value for the private sector by rolling out the apps and platform and democratizing this uh, data-driven digital technology so that you can scale it up and young entrepreneurs can actually uh, capitalize on those uh, platforms and come up with their own products and services. You know, uh, why? Because for me, innovation is something not journal, rather specific, uh, you know, investment in market creating innovation. Uh, it, it, that's, and, and it drives economic, social and political well-being. Innovation, we always think innovation of uh, uh, being synonymous with invention. It is invention, but more of it, it is revamping the business processes and doing the same thing with the new way it can be an, uh, it can be um, a innovation as well so look at nadra we started with paper id and now we have smart ids and tomorrow in the future we will go towards uh, digital id and uh, you know we are rolling out apps for 
to address a specific function or problem, just like Park mobile app. But we are rolling out platforms for the private sector. Look at uh, the new platform that six banks are experimenting. And this um, platform is based on uh, an innovation that Nadra has introduced to the world. We became the first country in the world that takes biometrics by making use of mobile phone. You have to just take your fingerprints uh, snapshot and it verifies uh, uh, electronically um, through the citizen database. So, and this invention, uh, you know, was liked by the private sector. Six banks, as I have told you, have jumped the bandwagon and they want to utilize this service to roll out innovative banking, digital onboarding, uh, microfinance services, credit card services, uh, or loan services. Uh, you know, social protection program are uh, talking to me. Uh, insurance companies are talking to me, so on and so forth. So, and it will open uh, a new era of digital uh, transformation for private sectors. So we have uh, taken a leapfrog towards digital Pakistan, uh, where we are creating uh, some platforms uh, where the private sector can use that uh, to roll out one person, one identity, uh, one authentication sort of uh, services. You don't, uh, in 2012, when we launched Smart ID Card technology, I found that uh, it was one of the uh, best uh, ID cards uh, in the world because we were competing with Germans, Belgians, uh, Denmark, uh, South uh, Korea, uh, Estonia's ID card. And so it has like over, I think, 20 features so that it was not, it was impossible to actually forge that card. So it is not a piece of plastic, but we were supposed to build an ecosystem of the services uh, where, uh, you know, um, we, we could uh, help our entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs, to roll out more products and services on that. So um, the private sector should uh, look at this revolution, revolutionary services that uh, we are uh, introducing and come up with more innovative services uh, uh, because we are opening this social sector, uh, social sector uh, and the private sector to actually bank on our services. Identity authentication and credential verification performed by Nadra forms a key part of any kind of such digital governance initiatives. So we have actually uh, helped SAS programs, uh, which was uh, earlier Benazir Income Support Program in social protection uh, regime. But more of that, Nadra has, uh, is the backbone of inclusive economic growth through enhancing livelihoods and entrepreneurial activities. It serves as a gateway to numerous financial services and opportunities which benefit general public at all level, uh, leaving no one uh, behind, behind. So Nadra has, for example, proudly partnered uh, with State Bank of Pakistan and uh, some uh, banks, as I told you, uh, so that they can do the EKYC and they can, uh, you know, utilize the digital onboarding uh, platform uh, for uh, introduction of, for example, branchless banking. Uh, so on and so forth. So uh, the biometric verification, may it be biometric verification, may it be the a, uh, innovative a, APIs, may it be finding the uh, tax evaders, or may it be introducing the transparency in business transaction, Na you will find Nadra as your uh, partner uh, in 
rolling out those services uh, very fast and very robust. Um, similarly, we have introduced some other products uh, and some products that we are planning that will come in 2022. As I told you, uh, the digital ID platform that we are working on uh, based uh, you, making use of cryptocurrency model so that we, uh, you know, roll out uh, a platform where businesses can you, uh, be facilitated with fintech services, uh, introduction of, uh, you know, digital wallets. So today, keeping up with the pace of technological innovations, Nadra introduced another digital initiative through, uh, as I told you, Park ID mobile application. Using this application, all citizens, including those living abroad, will be able to digitally verify fingerprints, photographs using their smartphones. The app captures biometrics and uh, scans a uh, document digitally by using the mobile uh, phone camera. It's not only limited to the credit, uh, sorry, ID card services, but you know, the young entrepreneurs can uh, introduce new innovative services using that, uh, uh, using that uh, uh, mobile app. So um, we, um, we, we look forward in working with the private sector. As I said, we are opening the door, uh, doors for cooperation with the banking and financial system uh, and markets. We have now integrated this application for biometric, not only biometric verification and eKYC, but we are democratizing this service so that it reaches out to the, uh, to the, to the young entrepreneurs and they can come up with the, uh, with the, with the new services. Last but not the least, I would like to thank you uh, once again, uh, organizers of this conference, that uh, you have put uh, Nadra at the center stage as the government organization, autonomous organization, but the uh, working under government uh, to actually um, uh, showcase our products that, that uh, are driven by innovation and uh, that are for private sector to scale up using our uh, platform and come up with